There are many good reasons to inscribe to this MOOC. Impacts of hazard events are increasing on a global scale and solutions to mitigate their impact go beyond structural approaches. In this MOOC, we are offering you an insight to nature and ecosystem-based solutions to reduce disaster risk and adapt to climate change. Welcome to the course Disasters and Ecosystems, Resilience in a Changing Climate. This session will be covering the basics related to disasters, disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. In this unit, we will focus on two main questions to get you to think about EcoDRR in practice. Now, let us take a look at specific management tools and introduce methods of cost-benefit analysis and ecosystem valuation. Ecosystems can be easily damaged by climate change and natural disasters, increasing poverty, conflict and health problems. But they can also help people handle those risks and their impact, creating new jobs, stability and food security. If, if people have access to the right skills and knowledge. Online learning is essentially a way of reaching a vastly larger audience. Over the past 10 years or so, there is significant understanding in scientific communities as well as policymakers that wetlands contribute significantly to disaster risk reduction. And we found quite some evidence uh, that wetlands have a place alongside many other measures in enhancing the resilience uh, of communities in those zones. Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, which was a catastrophic uh, storm, impacted and caused around 5,000 people's death. And when we looked at where that happened, interestingly enough, and not unsurprisingly, this happened where the mangroves were lost. Our new MOOC platform, edX under Sevier Mekong, provides opportunity for learning and knowledge exchange. We are pleased to host the second edition of Disasters and Ecosystems, Resilience in a Changing Climate. Thank you for joining us.